I'm basically an employee who will put up with a bit of abuse to remain in the employ of Giovanni. So, you know, um, as Leporello in a modern production such as this, it's just about wanting to be with the cool kid, you know, being a hanger on and um, fear of being without him, because perhaps Giovanni is the only person Leporello has in his entire life. That's my suspicion. I think he's insecure, like just about every other character in this piece, insecure. Um, there are plenty of times that he tries to leave but can't. And if you, know, if you have to base your life on that male figure, then you're, you're lost. So I think he doesn't know what's beyond Giovanni and he feels somewhat safe with Giovanni even though it's dangerous with him and it's, there's cruelty. Um, but we all know victims who will not leave their oppressors because evil contact is still contact. And so even though it's um, contact in a, in a negative way, it's still contact, and it's the only contact that they might know. And also, Leporello, there are benefits of being with Giovanni. There are, I imagine there are women that Giovanni fails with, and so Leporello might have a try. There is money, there is shelter, there is um, it's some adventure, and the travel, and um, maybe uh, drugs, sex, and rock and roll, too, for depending on the production. I think Leporello is someone I, I wouldn't want to hang out with. I mean, he's superficial and insecure. That seems to be a key word. And when, it seems like when things are going his way, everything's cool. Um, but the minute things start to go sour, he's ready to just escape, head for the hills. 